No timer! Woo! Howdy doody! Oh, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm on one this morning. Ooh, ooh. How you diddly doodling, guys? I love it you sing with me. Howdy doody! Oh, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna get a little dance routine going because I've got a man that sent me in a jingle. And uh, I'm going to put it on soon. My son's coming around in the week and he's going to put my jingle on at the end. So when it finishes, welcome to my channel. You soon get sick of it. <laughs> Go grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your cat, grab your dog, grab your neighbour's dog. Let's do this. Grab your mum, grab your neighbour's mum, mate. Oh, that crap me up the other day. Someone said, oh, I'm sitting here watching this with my mum. She thinks you're great. Oh, I think mums do like me. Just my own mum didn't like me. <laughs> You know how it is. Right, guys, so, if you've not been here before, I'm Kerry. I'm just smacking Karma's bum. we got to smack Karma's bum, haven't we? Say hello, Karma. Stay there. Say, look at me and my big head. Come on, say hello. Say good morning. Say good morning and thank you for my toys. Say thank you for my toys that you bought me. It's on one. We're just coming. That's Karma if you seen him before. And uh, we've just been out. I ain't even cleaned the table. It's very real here, guys, all right? I'm an angel messenger. So I'm, I can read tarot, but I don't do tarot on here. So your angels and ancestors will guide you to me. I know this gets boring, me saying the same thing, but... I've got to because I've got a lot of new subscribers. So, yeah, it's very real here. I don't like fake. I don't do fake. I try and promote everyone not to be fake. Just be yourself. And um, always wear what you want. Talk how you want. And don't let people make you be anything else than what you want to be, all right? And I am a collective like you, so I resonate with you quite a lot. And um, so that's it. Yeah, and I've been given a gift and I share my gift with you. Because that's what I'm here for. I heard a thing yesterday on a tarot thing. And the guy, oh, he was gorgeous. And he said, uh, that's besides the point. But anyway, so I had to do a bit of window shopping. <laughs> Seriously. I'd never get a bloke ever again. But I don't mind having a look now and again. I used to find people so unattractive. Now I'm like, oh, it's quite nice. But yeah, you probably saw it. He has quite a lot of viewers. And uh, he put on there, his title was Mouth for War. <laughs> Straight away, I had my angel go, that's you, Kerry. I said, I know, innit? And everyone used to say when I was younger, Cotton, you've got a big mouth. Why don't you shut your mouth? Listen, mate, God gave me a mouth for war. And he did. So I resonated, resonated, resonated with that quite a lot. So, guys, you are in a place of authority now. And you are. Oh, you could work for the authorities as well. So you're just making decisions now on what you want to do with your life. Now, you could be going through whatever we're going to get on four to five years, or four to five months, but we'll see how it goes, because I want to have a little shuffle, and I want to do some other cards, because I don't want to keep sticking to these, but I'll see what I'm guided to do, right, so somebody moans, and are very negative, and they used to put, or do, put their problems onto you, nothing is good enough for this person, so I'm reading the card on top of my thing, yeah, so they moan and are negative. So this person might be doing this now, or you know this person to be like this. That's why it's going to resonate with you. So they're just a bit of a moaner. Yeah, I just heard, if this is a man, it's a bit of a biatch. So, yeah, right. So someone doesn't like it because you're smiling. <laughs> How can you not like someone because they're smiling, you lunatic? Right, smile. I've got that. Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. My angels are giving me songs all the time. If you don't like tarot readers that sing, it's fine. I'm not a tarot reader. <laughs> no, but I used to hate it. I used to say the same thing. Why are they singing? You're either a tarot reader or a singer. When your angels give you messages, they will give you songs. Because it resonates better. So, yeah, I used to be the same. It didn't great on me, like someone told me. But I did used to think, why are you singing? You're just trying to sing to get a singing job. But it's not. Angels will love music, okay, guys? Right. That, every time I veer off, don't worry, it's for a reason. So you could be celebrating now. Good times, come on. Do -do. I want us to all go dancing, seriously. So their party's over and yours has just started. And guess what? They're not invited, okay? <laughs> if your name's knocked down, you're not coming in. That's what our uh, bouncers say in London. 
if your name's not down, you ain't coming in. And they're all called Dave, <laughs> normally. Right, your angels love you, and they do. Oh, my dogs are laying down. Hopefully they'll stay down for a minute, because they get a bit hyperactive. And um, they've had a good old chew this morning. The person that bought me them chews, they were amazing. Come on, they smelled that good. Even I would have had one. Oh, don't. I gave the dogs a chicken foot. They didn't know what to do with it. And I came in and Carmen was a bit... I mean, is it funny you're eating feet? <laughs> right, you're celebrating, you are. You've got celebrations coming in. Right, so you've done something. So you must have changed your mind on something or someone. So you changed your mind and it made you a lot stronger. You might have been weak before or felt just a little bit like, I'm getting like your kindness was your weakness. So you are, you've changed your mind on something or someone and it made you strong. So you're not as weak anymore. Well done you. I'm so proud of you, honestly. So now you're more happy. I think you feel more happy in general. Maybe it took you a long time to get to this place. Maybe it took you four to five years. Could, could have been longer or months. Everyone's on a different journey here. So now you feel a bit more authoritative and you can take a stance with your life and you feel like you can make more clear decisions now. You can, because I feel like you're living more in the truth than you was before. Don't you bloody start, Karma. Karma! He's got a toy here and he wants her toy. Karma, you have your own toy here, look. Karma! You've got your toy there. That's it. Good boy. That one's yours. That one's yours. Go and get it. Good boy. He has to have whatever my gypsy's got. Right, so somebody might want to apologise for something, but it's too late. Oh, no, I've got another song. It's too late to apologise. It's too late. I want to get my lighter out. Too late to apologise. Yeah. Oh, I love that song. Dun, 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 and the feet don't touch the ground. You might like that song. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm really cold. Oh, I love that song. I'm going to play it now. Right, so someone's planning something. Great, that's all we need, isn't it? Their plans never work, don't worry. This is just an energy, guys, all right? So don't start worrying, because all it is when you watch tarot or angel message, it's just an energy. How they feel at this moment. They might change their mind tomorrow. Right, so someone planned this. Someone planned to make you weak. Now, this could have happened. I don't want to keep going over this old energy. It's doing my head in, angels. And my hands are really cold, my left hand, for some reason. Someone misses your cooking. So you might be a very good cook. Someone might have planned to do something to your food, I'm getting. I get this quite a lot with you. I think somebody was putting stuff in your food. They planned to do something to your food. Yeah, what did I say to you? I said someone sees your kindness as a weakness. And it says, kindness always comes back to you. So, I think someone realised how kind you were. God protected you from this. If you got poisoned in your food and you consumed it, if you didn't believe in God, I think it could have been worse. That might resonate with you. Because you're a kind and loving person and you believe in God. I feel that something was happened. You might have cooked at someone's house or they might have come over for dinner, but I think this would have been more you going to their house, I'm feeling. I feel someone might have planned to cook you a meal and put something in it. Or... You went and had a meal and you may remember feeling funny after. But I feel this missed you. I feel like maybe you either didn't go to this meal or God protected you when this happened. So you could have like consumed it, nothing happened or something worse could have happened, but God got you out there. You might have left somewhere, left a restaurant, left a place or thought, oh, I need to go. I don't feel, I don't know why I'm getting it, that like you didn't actually... Not saying you didn't get poisoned, but it wasn't fatal. Well, hopefully not. You would be watching me, would you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm just watching you from the grave. Right. 
bad energy. Right, so this is because you were kind. So I think you're always kind. Angels, I'm going to swap cards because I don't want to read this same old story. Right, so someone's a moaner. I'm going slower, guys, because I've been told I talk too fast. So, and it don't bother me. I know I talk too fast. I've seen it on my um, YouTube. You keep rewinding me on certain bits because I do. I get carried away and I get excited. That's too many angels. Too many, my loves. Can we have a bit less cards, please? And then we'll see. I want to go with these ones at the minute because the little ones, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. Right, let's halve that, guys. Right, give me some down. A Leo kept trying to pop out then. I was going to say Leo, and then I thought, no, and then it went forward. So you could be a Leo. Right, don't let this person in your home, guys. This person's shown you who they are. They've shown you how bad they are. And I think this put you off this person for real. So don't let this person in your home. Don't. Right, you're not going to. I don't think you are. I think your intuition's so good now that um, it won't lead you in the wrong direction. It won't. So don't let this person in your home. I feel strongly to repeat myself saying that. All right, this person could have slept around quite a lot, guys. All right, you might have used your intuition on this. This person might want to head in your direction, but I feel that that is the wrong way for them to go because God's protecting you. And all this person's going to do is ne be negative and probably say negative things and just cause you a lot of problems. And nothing's going to change and nothing's going to be good enough. And your kindness, they're going to take as a weakness. And uh, all they want to do is come back. And uh, if they come back and discuss their bad ways with you, I think it will absolutely put you off this person. I don't think you're interested to even know what this person's done. And if you are, I don't know why. Because like all you do is hold yourself back wondering what this person's done. Guys, I keep saying this, right? Don't get too stuck on tarot. It's all right having a nose, yeah? But if you keep watching tarot, you're going to get stuck like them. So you're going to live their karma, what they're living, because they're stuck. All right? You're supposed to be moving forward. The more you let go of people, the more abundance you get. And what I was reading yesterday on a few of the comments is, oh, I, well, how can they stay there? I want this. And I, some woman put on there, I want my inheritance. I need it. I want it. Well, sorry, love, you won't be getting it. Because if you want it and you need it, God won't give it to you. Because if you're going to stay in that nasty, toxic... And I'm not being horrible. I was like this myself. I had to learn. That's the only reason I say things so I resonate. If you hold on to this person and you don't forgive them, forgiving's for you, not them, okay? So you can move on, then God can give you abundance and then take everything from them. If you stay, that's you and that's them. If you stay stuck with this person all the time like this, they're never going to break free. They're never going to get their karma. And you're never going to get your abundance. So the more you pull away and then your energy comes away from you, this person says, ah, oh no. Right? Everything will start falling for this person. You carry on. So it's okay to have a nose at this person, but don't stay there. Because all you're going to do is stay in their karma. And you're going to stay stuck. Like, oh, when am I getting this? You won't get the same thing that you got stolen. It doesn't work that way. If someone stole a car, don't mean you're going to get a car back. No, it don't. When I had my car wrecked, God gave me freedom because I didn't know anyone in my community. So I lost my car. Yeah, it was a pain in the bum, but I just turned it around as a positive. I thought, all right, I've lost my car. What am I going to do? I can't go out. My ex is hounding me. He's going to harass me. And he did harass me all up the road, but it made me stronger. He used to spit on me and everything, called me a fat slag. And that one, I was up the road, oh, you look nice, Kerry. Not your fat bitch. That's what he used to talk to me like all the time. And it did used to make me feel like I wanted to die and go home. But I kept going and I kept going and I kept going out more and more. And then I got to the point where he'd go past me and I'd be like that. Seriously, because I was looking a million dollars after a little while. I lost three stone in weight. I got to know my whole community. I know all the kids here now. And um, when I go out, people bib me and they wave at me. Hi, Gary. I get old people. They cuddle me all the time. I, they tell me they love me. And I've been walking around for three years now with my dogs. So when you lose something, don't worry about getting that, that thing back. You get something better back. I've got my community. I've got, like, not friends. They're acquaintances. And uh, when I go out, I'm never have short of a conversation. And I hope I do bright people's days up. And, um... Yeah, and it got my confidence back up. So that's, I got more abundance from losing my car. And I didn't, I'm going really cold telling you this. 
So don't worry. If you lost inheritance, you're not going to get your inheritance back. And you're not. And forget about it. You're not. Because it wasn't meant for you. Maybe God took it off you because you would have spent all your inheritance. You would have blown it. You'd have given it all to the ex. And he would have blown it. You might have done drugs with it. Things are taken off you for a reason. But you won't get them replaced back the same. And you won't. And the more you realise that, the better you'll get on in life. Because um, I don't know about you, but my abundance, I asked for peace of mind to have never loved my ex again and to never see his ugly face, and um, to be able to stay in my community that he used to run because I like living here and not to lose my home and um, to be free of my childhood issues and to make sure my dogs are, like, well. And, um, hello, lovey. And just, like, yeah, your abundance isn't that because you're not the same person anymore. You're not. You're a different person. I feel like I really need to say that to somebody. And I'm not having a go when I'm on it. I resonate with you because I, do you know, I built this channel through sadness, through pain, okay, and through my heart being broken into a million pieces. And that's how I built this channel because I didn't want anyone to be like me. And I'm here to help you and show you that if there's a way out for me, there's a way out for you as well. And I did this all on my own. And I didn't heal until I was like 40, I started healing at 45, 46, yeah, 46, maybe later than that. But um, it's taken me three years to heal. And I still haven't healed completely. But I'm only here to show you the way, okay? And let you know that don't be expecting all this. If you keep thinking this, you'll keep yourself stuck and you will. This is about moving forward. We're only having a little nose about the exes. But really, they're probably never coming back because they ain't got the guts. And they're not. They say they're going to come back. Do I think they will? No. No, I don't. Because these people, it's just an energy. That's all it is. You might be a cancer, or you might be dealing with cancer, or you might have had cancer. All right? But angels, I, don't, I do veer off, guys, because that's what I'm here for, right? My angels guide me. Yeah. This, this person is dark. And I mean dark as in, like, might be dark skin, but dark as in, they could be on the dark web. They could go on things like that. So this person watches a lot of porn. And I mean like grimy dark stuff, all right? Do you really want someone back like that who's so nasty? So this person's got no... Um, they obviously don't value women. If they're watching stuff like that, and it could be from animals to kids. I'm not even joking. That's what I'm getting. This is grimy. This person's grimy. This person watches like this every day. I feel this person would sleep with someone and go home and still watch it. And I think this person feels like... Thank you, Angel. You're not giving me no vision today. Thank the Lord. They normally do. And I don't want to see the porn. Porn changes your mind on people and women, and it does. It makes you think about SEX all the time. And you seem to go up to this thing where, um, in your mind, where you feel like everybody's a porn star, and they're not. And women are not like that. These people get paid to do this. Or you're watching people that are being attacked on there and kidnapped. If you do the other side of porn, you wouldn't watch it, men. I know. I used to work in the sex industry. So I know a lot about both sides. And if you knew what went into that, you wouldn't watch it. Because a lot of people you're watching are either drugged or they've been kidnapped or they've been trafficked. And you don't know from watching them clips, you just don't know where them women come come from. And you don't. They're not all getting paid for it and enjoying it. And um, some of them are very underage as well. But um, I know more about that than what I can actually talk about. But, yeah, so this person is in that kind of grimy, grimy. I think people say all men watch porn. No, they don't. I know people that don't. I know men that don't. They find it absolutely degrading to women because they've got daughters and they actually love their daughters and don't fancy them. I'm being serious. You must fancy your daughter if you like to watch this kind of stuff because this is... Um, I'm feeling very nasty on this. So this person's a sexual addict. This person hasn't healed from this. And I don't think you're going to forgive this person for this, but you need to. Right. You're not saying anything to this person. I think you're just watching these, um, these shitheads go down. Or you want to watch these go down. So you're not really saying anything to this person. Or you might not be saying anything about this person. You could be keeping really quiet. But you're just watching them go down. Or you want to watch them go down. Maybe that's what you want. That's your justice. Well, I don't blame you for that. Maybe you do want to see them get their justice. I don't blame you for that. Because I feel the same with my ex, and I do. Because uh, we deserve a front row ticket. And we do. And we do, if we're being honest. I'm not going to lie to you here. So I feel you're being very quiet, but you are waiting for this person to fall. That's natural. All right? They might fall, as in they might get caught watching things on there. 
that are maybe a bit nasty and they should be watching, could be illegal, I'm getting, because of things like... I don't like how I'm feeling. But this person's not healed. That's why they watch this kind of stuff. I think some of the stuff they watch is unforgivable. Like, you know, you wouldn't even... You wouldn't probably wouldn't even know this person if you knew what they was like in the background. You might know this already. You might have found stuff. Right, this person's not fulfilling for you. They're not. They're not fulfilling for you. I think you'd find this person quite boring. I think they're not fulfilling. I don't think this person's fulfilled with anything anyway. Nothing fulfills this person. They could have all the SEX in the world, but they still watch porn. They could watch all the porn in the world, but it still wouldn't be enough women or men. That's what I feel like this person is. But they're very greedy. They want everything. Nothing fulfills this person. Nothing feeds this person. That's what I'm feeling. Nothing fulfills them. They could eat and eat and eat and eat like big fat Henry VIII and they still would be hungry because they'll give me more. Give me more. That's what I feel like they're like, uh, was it Oliver Twist? When he says, please, sir, can I have some more? You want more? <laughs> I'd never be like that. Seriously. This person's never fulfilled. Never, never. Very greedy. Oh, no. My cards are going that wonky. I can't have that. Hold up, guys. I can't have wonky cards. I'm a Virgo. I'll get really, I'll get really funny about stuff like this. Sorry. Hold on. I cannot. I took so long sorting these cards out. I don't know what happened there. Oh, someone's holding on way too tight to you. Or you are to them. Take it where it fits, guys. You could be holding on too tight to them. Right. So someone's um, someone's holding on to you, I think, because you said no, and they don't like it. Someone's holding on. But this person just wants to come back into your home. But this person's been sleeping around. And it's going to lead you in the wrong direction if you get what I say. Again, Leo. You could be dealing with Leo, or you are a Leo. Yeah, you need to realise, what else, it confirms everything I say. You need to realise this person is beyond strange, okay? What they're watching is strange, like really strange, okay? I told you, thank you, angels. They will always confirm what I get given as a download, okay? This person is beyond strange. They watch strange stuff. They are into strange things. This person is very strange on the internet. I think this person goes on the dark web, and I do. And I think everything this person does with anyone or how many people they sleep with, it's never enough. Never enough. Someone wants to sabotage something for you. Now, if you're dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio, someone wants to sabotage something for you. They're hiding it well, so be very careful. So this could be a Scorpio we're talking about that always keeps score on you and they're hiding it. They might be hiding the fact that they're watching you and that they want to keep tabs on you. Be careful. This person does want to sabotage you. All right, Scorpio, Leo. Yeah, this person's back and forth. I think they want to come back in your energy again. You don't know how much more you can take of this person, I feel. I'm getting bad energy. You don't know how much more you can take of this person. Maybe they're doing it now, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe you're someone that's always back and forth on the internet. I don't think you could put up with this anymore with this person. This person is not going to change and they're not... Right, my card's all over the place and I'm feeling very stressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. But if you're still here, guys, could you press the like button if you're still here? And subscribe. Do you know I've got so many people come back and watch me, but they're not subscribed. It's like 50-50. So some of you have subscribed, 48%, I think. And the rest of you are not, but you're returning viewers. So if you don't mind subscribing, I would love you to subscribe. Then you can hit the notification bell and then you'll get all my videos. You won't miss me. Thank you, guys, and I do appreciate it. Right, so they judged you by the way you looked, but they never got to know you. So this person got people to judge you on the way you looked, or you might look different now, but this person should never judge a book by its cover because I think that you're a little bit of a hidden secret. Like, you might be hidden secrets this person, but I think there's a lot more. I'm getting onions. You might love onions. I feel that if you was an onion, <laughs> Oh, I'd eat you because I love onions. If you was an onion, <laughs> I've got visions of me eating you as an onion. You've got layers to you. You have. I think you could peel you back as a person and there's so many more layers to you. You never get boring. I probably, if someone else was with you, not this person, I feel like that someone would feel like, oh, you, like you change. You get better and better and there's so many layers to your personality and I want to smile a lot. So I feel like you might be called onion as a... Nickname, but I'm feeling onion. You're like an onion. 
Angel's giving me so many weird downloads. You want to see what I can see? It's weird. It's an onion with legs and that. <laughs> so, so I know it's a person. But yeah, I feel like this person judged you. But don't judge a book by its cover. This person never got to know you. This person doesn't know you. They never bothered to get to know you. They know what they... I feel this person just knows you essie actually. Like this person might say to you, oh, I know every inch of your body. But then if you said to them, well, do you know every inch of my brain? Do you know every movie I like? Do you know like about my childhood? They wouldn't know nothing because they weren't interested because they're just essie-actual. And if it's triggering, sorry, but that's just what I'm being told. Right, so this can also be a boss or it could have been someone at work, all right? So this could be a boss or work or relationship. So this person really runs their mouth. They like to talk. They like to squeal on people. They like to gossip. They could be a gossip at work and you might not know. You could be at work with this person and you know this is the office gossip. This person gets in fights all the time and arguments because of their big mouth. So this person runs their mouth too much, then people get annoyed. This person might get beat up a lot or they might be a fighter and they might do it on purpose to get beaten up. And they like to cause arguments. They're very bossy. Yeah, got too much to say, this person has. Yeah, I'm feeling like a gob shite. This is a right gob shite. I feel like this person makes out they're so practical. They don't get in their emotions. And they probably feel like they're quite cold and they go with their head over their heart. But this person just has no emotion. They don't. They have no emotion. Or they lock it away so hard they might not have been able to show emotion from when they was a kid. But it's no excuse. This person makes out they're practical, but I don't believe they are. They're not emotional, no. And they use their head over their heart. Yeah, the wrong head, I just heard. If you know what I mean. Seriously. So they might run away with their other head with one eye. <laughs> Sorry. It's true for Liam Ames. Yeah, look, as soon as I said the wrong head, if you know me, when I talk about they played you like a fiddle, I always think about their little... And just as I said about them, right, just thinking about SEX all the time, yeah, look, he or she plays them like a fiddle. I think this person plays with their fiddle a lot, you know? <laughs> they might just play with They might have always had their hand on it. Even if you're a guy and you was with a guy, same thing, okay? This person might always have their hand down their pants or plays with other people's fiddles. And I don't mean that one. <laughs> Yeah, people fall for this person, jokes aside. But I do feel like someone has their hand on their willy all the time. So this person thinks everyone is stupid and tries to play everyone like a fiddle. All right? Like, jumps to their tune, basically, if you don't know what it means. Like, they play the fiddle and then people go, oh, yeah, little pick me. Little pick me, the backing singers that they like around. Pick me, please pick me. I'm so desperate and have no confidence. Please pick me. But that's not you. <laughs> so these people, yeah, this person can play these people like a fiddle. Or this person's easily played like a fiddle. And people can play this person. They think they're so clever, but people are playing them. Because they're not as clever as they make out. They're quite stupid. So, yeah, he or she plays them like a fiddle. Someone's playing them like that. But they, this person is so stupid, they fall for anything. And they do. That's why they didn't know you. Yeah, they realise they made a big mistake with you. And they do. Because they're getting played. That's why. And they know they made a mistake with you. They might feel like you played them like a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because their plan didn't work, did it? Right, so this person goes to church or might have found someone who's a bit religious, yeah? So you don't need to go to church, guys. You don't to find your salvation or reach salvation. No, you don't. And whether the Bible bashes have a go at me or not, Jesus told me this, all right? Church is made and run by man to control you. So you go along like it's a cult of its own. And... um I went to a convent, so I know, run by nuns and vicars, and uh, it was a horrible, abusive school, and I have got the fear of God put in me, and I did. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't learn the Bible. I didn't learn nothing about God. All I learned was God is going to punish me and strike me down if I don't do as I say and what I was told by the nuns and the vicars. That's not God. Jesus doesn't run like that. Churches are just to collect money, and then the priests start feeling very powerful, and then they believe they are God, yeah? But they're not. They work 
for God, okay? You shouldn't have to pay any money into a church either. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have to go to church. You put in Catholic church in England, they have a tray, mate, and you literally get judged by what money you put in there. I wanted to go to church one week and I didn't have any money. I'm not joking. I was so skint. I was homeless. And I went in there and then the, the way I was treated because I didn't have any money, I felt like taking the fucking money out. I actually did and running off. But I didn't. And I thought, should you? I've come to church to speak to God, yeah? Because that's what I thought is to do. And uh, no, they just take money. That's all they do. And then they get powerful. And then they work. They can control you. And then you're running around praising these priests and these churches when you should be looking for God within you. Your, your church is in you, okay? You don't need a church. You don't need a church for anything. But I feel these people do. They feel like they need a church. If I go to... Um, church and say sorry to God or pray to God, then all week I can go and watch porn and do what I want and be an absolute nightmare. No, it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. So anyway, someone here needs to learn the truth about the hidden world, okay? The little Bible, like I always tell you, that is not the whole story of Jesus. That's just what was taken out of a whole vault of about a million trillion pages that was wrote about Jesus. And it was man-made, okay? All soft. And so there's no women in it, hardly. So all this is run by men. Women have no place. Well, Mary Magdalene did. Trust me on that. She actually was given gifts. She had the same gifts as Jesus. And she was to run things after Jesus went, Yeah. Not Peter, Paul, and whoever. No, Mary Magdalene. She had the same gifts and the same information about the divine as what Jesus had. But that won't be in there because um, you've just been told by man about the Bible. Well, that's not the whole story, and it's not. It's just to make you feel like you've lived with sin all your life and you're, you're walking around like a sinner. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're God's child, and you're here to love, love each other, and teach people how to love, and that is it. And love yourself, all right? So this person or you might have been a bit in a church kind of thing where you actually believe that this is what would happen, that you, you only reach salvation through church. No, no. That's why churches are closing everywhere, all right? So someone might be feeling like they don't know the hidden truth about the world and they might just, you might just be coming out of it now, realising this is all a matrix and it's all a bit of a simulation, which it is. That's what happens when you have an awakening, guys, okay? So it could be them, it could be you. Someone knows who you are now. They do. They're realising who you are. Oh, they are for definite. Well, yeah, because they know now they went to another relationship and this relationship isn't saving them. This relationship was never going to save them or you, and it wasn't. So someone now is realising who you are because they know now that a relationship is not going to save you. I think you realise it that a relationship's not going to save you. You have to save yourself. This person might be feeling like this. They thought this other person was going to save them. Could have been a trauma bond. But no one can save this person but them. Yeah, they, they don't want anyone to like you, this person. They don't. This person slandered you a lot, and they did. Remember that, all right? They wanted people to dislike you, and they caused a lot of trouble for you on purpose. And they did. They like causing trouble and talking about you. They might have even told people that you was um, more like churchy, religious, and you might have been spiritual. This person might have been like pretending that you sort of hid behind the church. I'm getting my nose is itching. This person might have started arguments about you being a bit of a... They don't know anything about you, this person. They don't. They don't. But this person didn't want anyone to like you, so they just slandered you. Maybe they found you different because you did believe in God. But because you because you believe in God, don't mean you have to go to church. Trust me on that. I never go to church. I was told not to. My church is in me. And um, it's all just man-made, all this is. It is. So you're just following like another cult, basically. And you are. That's what you're doing. All right, I'm going to mix these up a little bit because they're already mixed anyway. I hope you have a nice Sunday, guys. If you're still here, I really appreciate your time, and I do. And thanks for um, liking my channel, and thanks for donating. Any super thanks, is, honestly, is really, I'm really grateful for it. What are you eating, Jippy? What's she eating? Jess, what are you eating, babe? Show me. She's got some. I don't know what she's eating. I don't remember giving you a treat. What have you got? What have you just eaten? You've always got a snack hidden. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Say hi, look. Come here. Say look. What am I? What I heard you crunching. <laughs> she's 
She's having her operation tomorrow. She's going in tomorrow. She's 12 yesterday. So I'm a bit worried. I hope she gets through the anaesthetic. All your donations are going towards my vet bill. And uh, I'm so grateful, guys. And then the next donations I get, I told you, I'm getting myself um, a burger van. And I'm going to do two days working on it, like, normal then i'm going to spend another two three days feeding the homeless with what i've earned off of the burger van that is my goal what i want to do so that'll be the next thing and i will keep you posted i will film it all hopefully that's what my project will be next year and then i can go out of an evening down um, bournemouth and that and just feed the homeless we've got a lot of homeless in bournemouth and we have because there's so many rehabs here people come here from london wales like scotland so many rehabs in Bournemouth, and um, it's a really beautiful seaside town. But then when they leave, some of them got nowhere to go. So they end up staying around Bournemouth, and then they end up homeless. They don't get no help. They leave rehab, go back on drugs. There's no help after rehab. And, um, you know what I mean? There's a big population here of homeless people, more than you'd believe. People think Bournemouth's like an old person's town. It's not. It may have been years ago. Right, so when you feel God... You might be feeling God and your temperature might go up because that's what it feels like when you feel God. If you're wondering, when you when I feel God, what do I feel like? Your temperature goes up, you get hot. You can get an overwhelming feeling of like ecstasy, basically, if you've ever done pills or anything like that. So when you feel God, your temperature starts rising and you will cry, you will cry. So some of you might be thinking you don't know what the feeling is, all right? And um, you feel a release of emotions, you do. Sometimes you can go on the floor, like you literally lose your breath. When I get God around me, more in my awakening, I was like, <gasps> crying so bad, my face swelled up like then. And then all of a sudden, after I cried and healed whatever I was um, God put on me, I felt overwhelming love of God. And then I got even more emotional. And then you just feel so light and happy. And, like, it's amazing. So if you are feeling things and you're not sure, feel like this is your angels telling you, you will know when you feel God. You will. Like I said, you get very hot, very hot. And then you're like, ooh. Then you go, ooh. <laughs> That's what it's like. You know when you felt God, Okay. Yeah, see, letting that come up straight after the church. You don't need church to feel God, thank you, angels. That's what I just got told. You don't need the church, all right, to feel God. You don't. God is everywhere. God is everything you look at, everything that's grown, everything that's created, all right? Yeah, someone might be having an opinion on this with you about you being spiritual. Don't worry about other people's opinions, okay? Don't let other people's opinions become your reality because it's not. This person ain't in your reality, all right? So I'm going to leave it here, girl, girls. Ooh, we might have a lot of girls on today. I was going to sing that song, but I better not. People don't like my singing. <laughs> I've got that song in my head. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. You're going to have a celebration, some of you. And you left the two. We're going to have a fun and party with you. Oh, who sings that celebration? Come on, celebrate and have a good time. Oh, I love it, Angel's giving me that. Right, guys, I love you so much the singing, but it's got to be done, mate. And it's real it, and I am myself, and I want you to be yourself. And um, just have a lovely Sunday, fun day, all right? And I do love you. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and welcome to my channel. Ooh, ooh. Love you guys. Have a good day. I'll see you in a bit. Adios, amigos. <laughs>